Yeah, yeah. Maryland's bear tank. But like they're also assigned to diamond, but we won't see a diamond for a long while. Beautiful. When this eradicator comes back this way, we're going to make sure we pick it up. Mummy Milky says no assignments. I didn't see her on the sign-up sheet. Oh, pull the eradicator. And let's throw out the targets. All tanks should end up with assistance by this point. If not, let it be known if I can fix it. And tanks, play targets, spread them out. Let's figure out what's going on and we'll get the side our kill order. Make sure we're detecting magic on each of them. Okay, we can go for moon first. It's shadow and frost reflect. Square has not back, we can go for square after that. Get skull out of the way, it's a mana burn, and we don't know what's going on with cross yet. Did you say moon? Um, it's now star. The marking has changed. Go for star, square, cross, mana burn. Start to square. You might want to pull square further into the raid because it's near the mana burn right now. Awesome. Yep, don't know what's going on with that, but then we go on to the unmarked one in the corner. Perfect. And if we can get this eradicated, let's get this eradicated before we chain pull. Too close. Alright, make sure we pull it back onto the stairs. Good enough. Perfect. We should have another eradicator coming down now that we can pick up. Gonna put a skull on its head. If we can get up and touch shoot it when it hits the end of its path, that'd be perfect. Shoot now. Pull it to the stairs. Nice job. Cool. We're going to put marks on these targets, same as last marks. We're going to be pulling them back in the previous room. Make sure if we have a Shadow Storm or a Mana Burn, we keep them on the opposite side of this gateway. So, have we marked all of them? Not yet. Missing a Skull, missing a Moon. There we are, pulling them back into the next room. Anybody who can body pull on a mount. Skull has mending. Which one is that? Um, one with star currently is um, Shadow Storm, keep star away. We can go for Skull and we can go for Moon. So let's get Skull down first and get Moon down afterwards. <coughs> On to me. A little bit of a box just as I go. After Moon, we go on to the one that just marked the triangle above its head. Finally, everyone get deep into this next sentinel. It's a shadow storm. The further away you are, you're actually going to take damage. I'm dead. Good job. Pop a greater arcane protection potion. Let's get ready for this next boss fight. The main thing to know if you're in a caster in an even group, you're going to the left side. If you're casting an off group, you're going to the right side. And we have tanks assigned to the left and right side of this boss, as well as people directly in the middle. So, Funky and Mithrin are straight on Scarum. We have Lightning up and Overzealous on the right hand side. And Merlin, you're on the left on your own. 
because we are missing one of the signed up tanks unless they're on a character whose name I'm not sure of. So once everyone's ready, start mounting up. I guess we're not waiting. Alright, make sure we're killing these splits first. Full um, square into the middle again. CC a Sandbeam. Remember, pull square back into the middle. Gonna split again. CC Drew Linker, square is on the left side, pull it into the middle. Get the score down next, and then we push Skerm. Once we push it this time, we focus on the square target, and the other one's the spawn. CC Power. Where it is in the middle. CC missed Good job. Where music bot suggests a song to start it off with and it will keep going. But oh, I think I know that song. It's like... It's today the day we get another. It's got a bush, got a bush. All right, let's pick up the brainwasher. At first, see some creators of turquoise and music. Turn down the music part, it's called Jockey Music. Someone wants to type that out, it helps people. Marks keep getting reset. I'll start removing yeah. assists if you need to. On the day, hey, we don't care. Don't know this guy. We're going to pick up a warrior pack, make sure we kill them all at the exact same time. Spread the damage. Get consecrates underneath them. More on cross. That's one dead happy, but he did challenging shout. Cool, we're jumping over the edge, we're pulling the guardians underneath the lip of the wall. We focus on the brainwasher first, let's go. Remember, be in front of the guardians that you're attacking, that way you get knocked back into the wall and not around the room. Let's rest the dead tank. We have pulled the next pack. Focus brainwashers. Get these brainwashers dead before we start focusing on the guardians. Make sure you are guardians between you and the door. Mm -hmm. 
So for example, Ziomaru, you should be on the other side of the Guardians, because otherwise you can get knocked back into them. Cool. We can pull the next pack. Man is looking good. Focus on the brainwashers first. And make sure we see some people who get brainwashed. into the previous room, or well, the next room. Cool, using the protection potion. Anyone remember the kill order for today? I think we're doing them well, but I can't be certain. Yeah, them yeah, last this week. What does that mean for our raid composition? We have five shamans, so we and tons of paladins, so we can easily deal with poison. Let's get rid of fear first, yeah. and then get rid of poison yeah. second. Explode. And we should have a good time. When Yao dies, she will summon a brood of mobs. We need to make sure with them. Um, A we taunting them just to make sure we pick them up and kill them quickly. Afterwards we can deal with Kree who will leave the poison cloud on the ground and then them is just nice and easy. And Kree also heals and pretty so um Yao heals as well, so we need to make sure we have someone interrupting it. But since it dies first, it's not too big of a problem. A tank's okay with their mark. I want to see a couple of pluses in chat, at least five. Um, are you, you're Mira Lennon, I'm assuming, right? Um, so... Yao Jo Kree, you can go for Kree because we already we can handle one one tank on Yao because it dies first. That is a good question to ask though, so thanks for asking it. If that's the only concern then we should be ready to go. I've not seen more pluses for the other targets, but you know, we'll live. Thanks, Paul. Go go go. So we're getting rid of these poisons. Right, yeah, just about to die. Get ready for an AoE taunt. And then we go focus straight onto Greenex. We just now need to worry about poison cleansing and not fear protection. All Kree all the way to a corner to die. It's Your dying pretty quickly, so move faster. Alright, get the fuck away from Kree. Make sure you run away from them for a second. He'll target someone. You can pick up then. It's on coin. Pull them all the way to the other side of the room, please. Away from this poison cloud. There's no fear to worry about, but it's just for safety. Yep, here's good. Thanks, just spam your taunt on cooldown. Good job. Angelus's charm and try to get Decently. Death is close. Ah, oh, some did not have auto point. Even though that healing necklace is like it's less healing than the one from um the Kafu neck, it's got really good primary stats, good stamina in left. And in Nax, that can hurt to quite a lot. Where is Rain coming? Where is Rain coming? Cool, pick him up. Same as last time. Do we have any here we don't? No. 
Ich hab's ja. Oh, this is Zelda. I'm gonna AoE taunt. Alright, can we pop Zelda when he taunts? No. Yes. I guess she has a lip as well, mate. Good job. Oh, yeah. Well, I need a band suggestion to turn the music bot back on. Make sure we stack all of these guardians together so you're backing up into a wall so you don't get knocked around the room. Alright, we did have about four people die there, so we're gonna wait for them to rest. You are weak. Make sure we're pulling them back against this wall again, just so people can get knocked around the room. The only risk to doing this is if you get knocked multiple times at once, and you might get sent flying still. And wait for your bleeds to fall off before you bring back in. It guarantees you might actually live. Another back incoming. I went too close. Okay, everyone get ready to react. Dazani, if you can ank, ank. If you don't get rest in time. Your heart will explode. Not ideal, I admit. Nope, but that's okay. We'll start on. Just make sure we get the mark to get the damage spread. Be good. It's not that many deaths. Let me know if you guys can reach me. I'm floating up above you. Um, you're getting rest. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> okay. so freaking good, though. Do you want to wave? You betray your friends. I'm playing. Thanks, make sure you start picking up targets. Don't start AOEing until the second consecrate has gone down on the whole group of them. Make sure we pull them into the corner, dead. consecrate in the corner, and then we go. Let's start getting mounted up and warriors and whoever can wear plate put on your tankiest, strongest armor gear. Even if your damage is a little bit hindered by it, it means you might actually live throughout what's going to happen next. Your courage will fail. 
we have Merlin starting off on Skull, Overzealous on Cross, and we will need to put Lake onto Triangle, please. Um, starting off on the boss, we have Lighten Up, Funky, and Mifrin. This is just a fight where we need to kill down these Royal Guards, and then we all start pummeling down on Sartora. When Sartora is spinning, we need to keep Taunt Spams going. When Sartora is stationary, we need to make sure it gets stunned. That's at the end of its whirlwind ability. We're going on a bit of heal of mana and then we're good to go. Please don't write go, go, go. It's really fucking obnoxious. Like people trying to buff. Right, we are good to go. People start mounted up. Remember? Spread out Sartora away from the Royal Guards. I know it's a bit hard to do though. And DPS, focus down Skull, Cross, Triangle. Let's get them dead. You can stun the ads. Take it, Funky. We'll cross next. Ah, we don't. Get triangle down, and then everyone's onto the boss. We are in taunt spam central time. Keep those taunts rotating. Even if you aren't a tank, just throw in a taunt, it helps keep it stationary. In three seconds, we want a stun. In two. One, zero, give it a stun now. Give it a second stun. And get ready for taunt spam. Keep the taunts going, people. <clears throat> and in one second, give it a stun. Stun it now. And if you can stun it again, stun it again. Perfect. Font spam time again. Good job, very minimal deaths. Okay, pretty good. Nice, huge. Alright, let's start grouping up ready for the gauntlet. We have so many Paladin tanks, we're just going to charge down here spamming Consecrate. We only worry about dealing damage to the um, soldiers as we're going, but do not let this be a reason you fall behind. The soldier will stay with us. We can kill like five at the end if we need to. The rest of the little drones will just die by Consecrate damage and the tanks won't take too much damage. So don't stand there and cast, we're going to keep moving our ass. We are waiting for loot to be done, and then we go. Alright, Mr. Stone, if you come join the group, mount up. We're all going to start going. Going to put a mark on the Paladin tanks. We have a star, we have a circle, we have a diamond. Stick with these guys. These guys should always be at the front of the pack, just consecrating as we go, and lead the charge. 
So Drafe is lightning up and over Zalus, lead the charge, you should always be in front of us all, consecrate as we go so you keep all the different aggro. Alright, we need to demount by the way, we have people now falling behind. Just keep going and consecrating, no casting, just keep moving. The damage here is negligible. And we give Quinston some innovate if we've got one spell. Anyone innovate for coincidence? I think they haven't already obtained this. You already took it? How could you? I must backstab my fellow priest. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still out of mana, bro, so. My man. Let's all get into a safe spot, finish off whatever we have been attacking, get your mana back, and then we want to just charge straight into the next boss. We have Mithrin as the main tank, Funky as the off tank. They know what we're doing, we just need to focus on killing the adds for Consecrate at the back, getting the worm stunned when they hit us in the, ah, in the stack on the butt, and then we just kill it down. Pretty easy get, boss fight. Get on the day we are. Everybody is stacking up. If you're a hunter, you're stacking up. Find minimum range to shoot your bow, and that's why you're standing. Warriors, go get rage. Come on, warriors, do some drones, need to attack. Build it up. I think you can charge in when you're ready. Gas it. That's okay, you can taunt off him later. Yep. Alright, we have a worm coming from in the front right hand side. We need to stun on it in the next three seconds and stun it now. Everybody focus on the worm, get that worm dead. Alright, back onto the boss. Give us an arcane explosion if you're a mage. I thought it's a... Yeah, I thought it. Only seven worms, so we you're okay. Next worm coming um, in from the front. We need a stun in two seconds. We have a worm from behind. Get a stun on that one too. It's a blue square. We need to make sure we're focusing these down now. Alright, and get another stun on this blue square if we can get it. Perfect. Back onto the Fankris. We have a moon coming from in the front. Get a stun on Moon. Kill Moon dead. And kill Fangris. Good job. That a rest cloak, not bad. Is that actually coin? Congratulations. Right, we're on our way to Viscus, time to put on your nature resistance gear, every single person, and also your frost weapons. Bartek, you don't need the brackets, by the way.
A red bull? Mm. Hang on, give me a second. Ready. Alright, then let's go. GG for up. Oh, look. Everyone should be attacking the boss with a frost weapon and the healers. There shouldn't be too much requirements for anything else. Everyone's going to start now coming in to melee attack the boss. Beautiful. Then we need to deal with the splits. Are we? Right, that's a one phase. Just need to repeat the frostbolt hit. Careful if there's poison that spawns, make sure we are poison cleansing. Welcome to melee attack. Faster we hit it, the better. Good job. And what do we get? Okay. Nothing that makes me go musical. <laughs> Take off your um, nature resistance and off your frost weapons. Right, we have tanks here, but we haven't. We have got two healers too. Funky, go balls to the wall. Only take two of these scorpions each if you're a tank. This oh, is you're not healing. We have more incoming. Make sure we have some different tanks picking these up. Oh, one more pack of scorpions. Can you leave this for like two minutes? I've got to be right back. I'll stay after taunt. Stay around where purple is. We're gonna pull them back. We single target the lashes first, boys, right? That's the the guys in the dresses. Any hunter with balls to pull? It's gonna stay. Single targets. Let the paladins do their job. Back coming. Maybe. 
too. I promise I'm not slacking, I'm, I'm just getting my shadow. Let's get on. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Hey, we don't take lashes first. Lashes first. Single target the lashes. I'll link into the wasps all day. Big heels on right now. More lashes. Can you move to lighten up more cells? Do you see? Dead and we'll drink after. Move it a bit now, we should be able to take pretty much anything. If we do have a hunter that like wants to play the game and pull for me, that would be pretty sweet. So I don't get one banged. Yeah, I can pull it too. I'll stay mounted though. Okay. They'll just ignore us. Single target the marked one. Barrow uh, person color. Yeah, I'm back. Equip your barrel peasant callers and let's get ready to pull this boss. We do not want to be poison cleansing the raid, only poison cleanse a Mithrin or no more tears because they'll both be tanking this guy. We want to be poison cleansing the wyvern shot only. We seem ready to pull. Yep, a bit in one pile in group two, we can go. We will be using off callers at 35% of the caster and 30% of the melee. Just keep this in mind. your peasant callers and melee, take a step back so you aren't closest to the boss. Thank you. 
What oh, takes that back now? Keep healing the tank, please. Nice healing ring. Unequip your bar of peasant calls. Now's the time where you learn how to stack. We have a caster stack and a melee physical stack. So to denote the melee physical stack, it will be um, no more tears with a star above his head. To denote the caster stack, it is going to be Mishtem with a diamond above his head. Whoever already marked those people up before I even had a chance, good fucking job. You predicted exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I love this room. You stood in like a fucking ankle deep puddle of water and you cut off my doing water. <laughs> Remember guys, two stacks, got a lot of coke. Let's start stepping forward as the melee stack, because we can pull this guy and deal with it now. Let's go. Just body pull it. Melee body pull, cast us, stay out. Beware. It is a thunder clap, so cast us, stay out, as Lenny, you are hit late. Stomper. Run away! Is, away. is, is exploding Galway. Let's get back into stacks, get ready to pull the next guy. Remember casters be about 20 yards, 30 yards from the melee stack. You run in, if you see a shadow bolt, go towards you. The target we're most likely to end up pulling is moon. I'll throw out a triangle and a diamond just so we can keep track of the other guys. Can we send a hunter pet into moon? I can pull it as well. We kind of want to pull a little bit further back, just because of patrols. Fire arcane reflect. Beware. So if boys is plagued, it's a shadow storm range, get in. No more tears. Andrea. Perfect. And it's enraged, kill it dead. Good job, finish off these warriors. And let's get ready to pull the next pack. If you're plagued, stay away from people still. Right, let's get ready to pull the next target. You may as well go for square. It's coming towards us anyway. Stack up nice and tight now. Why is a boomkin in between? Boomkin should be on the stack. Beware. It's a shadow frost flap, thunder flap, range stay out. You need to move, triangle is coming. It turns around. Okay. I can no, move. It is from the clap meteor, that just means heavy heals on melee, assuming the meteor is hitting melee. Run away, little girl! Run away. Run away. Exploding, get, get away. Drinky drinks. We are in a position where we can pull triangle next. Oh, 
Right, everyone stack up nice and tight. Let's figure out what's going on. Fire off pain, reflect from the clap, brain stay out. Meet you, heavy heels on the melee, please. the people you let die. You know, what you do, lads, is let the raid leader die but keep everyone else alive. It's solely on purpose and not just because I didn't get a chain heal all in that time frame. It's fine. Nice two stacks again. Casters like the Boomkins, you should be with the Diamond! Shadow and Frost reflect. Beware. Shadow Storm, get him range. And Plague on Viv Rain. Viv Rain, get out of the group. Cat is played, get your cat out of the group. Hunter Pet. Dwarf Bear. Time for the fun boss fight. We have Gusta and Bartek, our two usual shadow tanks, back again to go for it once more. So this should be an easy and fun time. We have Mifrin and Funky doing the melee tanking, so this should be an easy and fun time. For the physical DPS and caster DPS, when we say melee out when it's five seconds before teleport is off cooldown, you are to start running to the other side of the room from what you're currently on. Make sure you are killing any of the enraged scarabs during this time. If people have pulled the scarabs, make sure they are dying and being dealt with. Do not be the next closest thing to the boss though, we want to make sure it's a seamless transition. So if you're getting closer than the melee or cast the tank to the emperor before a teleport, you are griefing. We can only use AoE on this right hand side. And that's when the Emperor's in position, because these Scarabs there and Scorpions apparently don't respawn, and that seems to follow through. But no multi-shot into that direction, because you're probably going to pick up some stupid shit, and it's not worth it. So, we're going to do a ready check to make sure people are happy and know what they're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, though, speak up. We can deal with that before we go further. So, I just need to get some buff food in there, because I'm sorry. To make sure the healers are very clear, fire Jameis Sayamara, you are healing Mifrin. Yeah, I'm ready and... to have, I accidentally used the reload macro. Okay, you're healing Mifrin and Bartek, and no more tears is, and Gustus healers are Mami Mu, Triune, and Meme Chan. Did Triune get an invite? Yep, yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, I believe we're ready, apart from Bombeo. Which is an unknown reason for why they're not ready. They've not said anything. Yep, rule one. Fuck him. Let's go. Bartek, click off hey, sound. Bartek, so, yep, yeah, good job. Mammy Mu survive. is with no more tears. It's too late to turn away. Give him time to get in position, deal with the big scorpion in the meantime. Your fate is sealed. No more chairs down. Ten. Funky's down. Miriana's taking over, get into position. 
It's melee out, so melee stay away from it. Let Miriana deal with it. Three, we deal with these scorpions two, that are getting enraged. One. Get ready for teleport. Don't be the closest thing to the Caster Emperor. <clears throat> right, there's the teleport. Wait for it to be positioned. Kill the scarps around the melee Emperor, please. Kill the scarps, you said. Yeah, so I can use demo shots. Ten. Alright, melee out. Melee out. One. Make sure we kill these big enraged scorpions along the way. Don't pick up more with cleave, because that's just fucking stupid. Let's get a battle res on no more tears if we can, please. Ten. Three, two, out. one. Yeah, out. Oops, I'm sure. Do we have right, a Make sure we're killing the big um, scorpions. Who's that? No, no more tears. No combat res yet. No one's combat res them, which is Julian Prince Zeragon not doing that job. Alright, melee out. Two. It's on no motors. Ten. Melee get out. Three. Melee all get two, out. One. Wait for the teleport. There we go. You will not escape. I can't go. <laughs> Can we get a bar res on Gustadolf, please? Whichever caster is currently tanking it, we need heals on them. It's on area. Area. Big heals area. Oh, it's it's gonna... Ten. Chat. Can we see our Bartek? No guess, so we can take Three, the other side. Two, melee out. One. Yeah, melee out. Do you have? Do you have CR? Oh, yeah. Alright, this is getting pulled to the other side. This isn't going to be We want a battle res on Gustadolf, the other warlock tank. He is in group six. Ten. There we are, melee out, melee out. Three. I'm going to this. Two. One. Wait, no, Marshall's guys. Sorry. Pump your damage this round because this is where we're killing it. Kill the scorpion that's chasing after us. Yeah, I'll take the logs you want. The scorpion. Ten. And that is a kill. I'll link the loot from no. my side. Kill the scorpion. Boots. Oh, you are finish them. Oh, yeah, that's the other bit of loot, cool. Bartek music stopped again.
one of our buffs are about to come to an end. We need to get a hunter down here with us to pull the pack so I don't die every week. We're pulling back into this room, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. We deal with slayers in the doorway. We make sure we pull mind slayers into cracks and crevices so they're out of line of sight. We pull the champion down the stairs. All right. Can I just have a paladin get ready to bot me? Trash marks have changed. Thanks to the very early bot, by the way. It made pulling it a lot for, more difficult. <laughs> Getting ready is not the same as bopping me now. Two completely different instructions. Uh, Cross mesh. I thought you were going to die again right there. Can I get a repair bot, please? I'm pulling. Yeah. Cool. Let's make sure we mark these. Stack the slayers together. Kill the slayers dead. This is a double slayer pack. Double mind slayer pack. So focus down these slayers. They do a silence. So we don't want to let them go to a caster. Don't give five minute blessings, rebuff the full fifteen minute. <clears throat> right. We can start dealing with the mind slayers. You guys should really be careful of your AOE, you're pulling scarabs because it's stupid. Alright, make sure we pull Moon into a crevice before Moon dies. Get Moon dead. Melee should be on the champion at this point. In a typical 2 mind slayer, 2 slayer pack, Melee you deal with the slayers, then you go on to the champion. Casters we deal with the slayers, then we get the mind slayers to 50%. Um, dead, we decide a kill order based on where they're positioned. If there's 3 mind slayers and only 1 slayer, we all kill the slayer dead, then we Melee rotate through the mind slayers, get them all to 50%. And conversely, if there's a bunch of slayers, we have all the melee on the slayers, and then casters deal with the mind slayer, and everyone goes on to the champion at the end. Now, I need a repair bot. Yep. I can't use terrors. Thank you. 19 gold. Fucking expensive. Incoming. Incoming. Cool. This is a 1-3-1 one, one pack. Because there's three mind slayers, one slayer, so everyone focused on the slayer. And then let's pull these mind slayers back into the upper room. Melee, we need to be getting them all to 50%, and then going over onto the champion. Cool. Right, let's throw out a triangle mark here. We'll cross, beautiful. Melee onto cross for now, get cross down to 50%, then we go find a new target. Right, we can go for Moon next, let's get Moon to 50%. CC Hyperion. Alright, Moon is at 50% and the other one is also at 64%, so let's get the final marked one down. Alright, we need a caster to call out the kill order. Everyone onto the champion if you're a melee. We kill the unmarked one. Move twice, I get All right, good job. No one died. We can go forward into the next room now. We're going to be killing the yellow bugs because you guys like to pull them. So kill these yellow bugs and then we get ready for the next pull. DPS, like if you see a healer getting kicked the shit out of their screen, just, just like blow it up for them, right? It'll make them tanky for the whole pool. Also, tanks uh, check the sheet, because the marks change after twin stress. So. 
think some people are not going on what they're supposed to be. And two slayers, so pull the man slayers out the rest of it. And pay with the DPS, deal with these slayers. Alrighty, melee DPS, run to the champion. Casters run to the mind slayers. Moon first. Tank it away from the group. Don't run into the group. Keep area alive, please. Champion's about to die, and there's one more Slayer left. Mine Slayer, sorry. Yep, cool. Alright, what's on the next pack? Looking like it's another triple mind slayer pack, that's always going to be fun. You can wait here and it'll come all the way down, it'll also end up coming all the way down on the other side. We can clear some bugs on the left. Yeah, let's go. Remember, you can skin the bugs too. For this pack, we're going to all nuke the Slayer, then Melee's going to rotate through the Mind Slayers and then get onto the Champion. This is where you'd bot me, for example. Perfect. And then Melee start and cross. Across the 50%. Then we'll go over to Moon, and then we'll go over to Moon. Alright, Moon it is. Alright, now for a mark. Alright, and on to the champion melee. Well, an interesting place. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get mind flayed by the mind spheres in here. That's great. I love it. <laughs> and the next pack is walking away from us already. So let's go chasing people. We have a two Slayer, two Mind Slayer pack, it's very easy, very optimal. I love it when people change the marks I've already assigned. It's great, isn't it? We stick more often. Someone on a mount could have literally have pulled this by now. Alright, focus this slayers down. Then casters will start focusing on Moon, while Square gets put into a much better position. Moon can be killed. And melee DPS from the champion. Why is that Mark 1 getting killed instead of Moon that's all the way down? Alright, we can kill the Mark. Don't dispel for free fall. Two curse rival. Alrighty, let's get ready to pull our first Nullifier. 
Oh wait, no, we have this pack here to deal with. My bad. Alright, let's pull it. Pull the Mind Slayers deep, deep down this tunnel. EPS, we're going to be rotating through the Mind Slayers. We're going to be getting cross and square down to 50%. And we're going to go pick out the next target. Cross is now at 50%. We move on to previously square, which is now the marked one. Then we go for the moon, and then we go for the champion, all down to the moon. CC coincidence. The moon's at 50%, we all go into the champion, cast us have fun, kill them however you want as long as they aren't. Ready. Have it easy, mate. All right, can we get our regular pull of this nullifier, please? Just shoot it, do whatever you need. Turn it around. Perfect. Cool. We need to focus target all on the water, make sure we're nuking it with our highest hitting ability. Full timer for 10 seconds is going now. Make sure you hit it for zero. So five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, zero. Hit this guy. Everybody should be hitting you with high, big damaging abilities. And kill it, that. Big damage. Interrupted stuff. And cool. Let's get ready to pull the next thing. We won't be pulling the pack that comes into this room yet. Be alright. Back on me. Focus target on skull again. So the hunter's mark is on the wrong target. Understood. Mm -hmm. Let's start pull time. Five, and four, four, three, three two, two, one, one, zero. Yes, there's three of you, but you marked cross first. It says more about intention. Big damage on skull. I need to kick. And let's kill the Nullifiers. Nullifier, Nullifier. These packs are all awful today. Can we send a hunter pet into this pack? Because I'm impatient. Hunter pet, go, go, go. Pull it back to this room. Deep into this room, we pull them all. Pull them all back to the other opening of this room that we were just in. Keep pulling in. Move the totals. We need to go further. Yeah. You're still in the doorway, guys. Move. I'm pretty sure you don't need blessing of freedom whoever's being mindful of these chances to cast. Melee, we get these all down to 50% and we go over. Yep, we're all on the champion at this point. How many totems? Okay. 
are some bigger in a precarious position. Cross run loose and try to take it just go for the unmarked. Did... No damage on cross until the champion's dead. and that's all we dealt with. So let's get a hunter's pet sent into this double slayer, double mind slayer pack with the champion. I've modded up pretty much everything. We still pull it back so we don't potentially ninja pull the water directly in front of us. Any hunter pets? Stack the slayers. We can stack the mine slayers to be honest, fuck it. Kill Skull Cross, then every single person onto the moon. We need Skull brought back into the rest of them. DC Hyperion. Let's just kill Moon as melee, we're all gonna run around for like 10 seconds. It'll be fun, I promise. Moon's dead. You can resist it, cool. Don't kill, kill Mark. That's everything, Dad. <clears throat> Time to kill two more big warders and then we get to get on the glory. Which reminds me, a fun warner add on check now. Cool. Let's get stacked up. Type slash CCW to turn the add on off again. Timer for ten seconds. Five, four, and make three, sure we hit for zero in two, two, one, zero. Do big damage. Kill the water. Need a taunt on the water. Because right now whoever's tanking it did not turn it around. Good job killing it, we're all roost. Oh, we had a second trash at the drop. No. Fucking shit. Alrighty, one more pack to go. Um, do do do. Let me copy and paste this message. Last chance for Shard before the start. <laughs> Alright, cool, let's get a skull mark set. We're in range to cast, full time with 10 seconds. 5, and four, three, three, two, two, one. 2, 1, hit the guy. Cool. 
Did we get anything good? What's the name of the add-on again, Chase? Giffen Warner. You'll see it in the pin messages in the AQ40 channel. Yeah, this trash was a scam today. Do we at least get a good amount of idols and kits? Always. Yeah, because sometimes we've had like been lucky with the uh, epics, but then we've had like been idols too. Alright, welcome to New Oru. I keep calling it New Oru because the script changed, so I'd like to make sure people know what's going on. Whoever has the highest numerical threat value will be the person getting targeted for Sandblast. That is very important to know because it means that all the DPS are stacking on the back of the boss. And if your numerical threat value is too high, you're running it off to the left or right of the boss, so you don't Sandblast the raid. We will be calling out who has the highest numerical threat, but typically it is a tank and you can resist the sweep and the sandblast. So if you have a legendary necklace with 24 nature resistance, probably worth putting it on for this boss fight. It's a very easy boss fight though. We have tanks positioned on the left and right hand side. Brisket boy, you made the rookie mistake. You opened your Kapim Warner folder and found another folder. You need to denest it one level. So uh, when you open up Kafum right. Warner, it should be Kafum Warner.toc inside. What a freaking So close, move. mate. <laughs> All right. Brett's great on bear, even without MCP. Cool. I think we're ready to pull then. So tanks, let's start going. Main thing is, main tanks in the centre, the casters are... Right. Sandblast incoming and sweep in one second, get out melee. You guys all need to stack a lot better than this, so you're spread out, so you're risking sandblast even when we have people move out. Highest numerical threat is currently Mummy Milkies, which she will be doing fine to make sure sandblast is avoided on everyone. Oh, and a Mifrin, of course. Melee out, the sweep. Everyone, make sure you are directly in a line with Star. Or whoever is doing something. They resisted, it looks like. But Bartek is getting close. Alright, Bartek will be next. Bartek, far left hand side of this room, there's space for you. Currently, where your link is standing? For some fucking reason. Run away, little girl! Run away! Right, sandblast coming up. Yep. Run away, little girl! Spread out. Run away. Try not to die to the quake. Rubbish them. <laughs> I mean, when I tell people to all stack together behind the boss, and then people are spread out. Like you've just dropped a fucking bag of weed on the floor, like... What are you gonna do? Get to the middle. Get claps to the middle, get ready to hear we taunt all of the scarabs that have just spawned. Aura has just popped up. Make sure we get a tank in its range, Drew Link. Get Zeragon, you were the closest, just get in the range until we have a tank there. You're good now, because Mithrim, sir. Everyone stack behind, behind the skull mark, so you will all be stacked together behind the skull unless you're an off tank. Off tanks pump threat, I can't see threat table while I'm dead. Perfect. Then if we miss them can get out already then. Going left and right.
Okay, yep, yeah, cool. It is Bartek who is in the normal tiers. Get sandblasted now. It's mish them. Brilliant. Make sure you lucidity potion when we start getting popcorn spawning when he enrages. Bartek, you're next. Gusted off, you are also on the higher threat. Yeah, I'm running. Cool. Uh, one percent and kill it dead. Be aware of the quake still, lucidity potion if it's chasing you and you don't want to die. Recommend hanging around in case we get bugs. Um, if this is your first time here, please don't just all run up to the top. Um, Jameis, if you respec, I just need a plus from the healers, please. Yeah, go for it. You there will be a new 2.5 barrels, but we're rolling for the current patch. Again, if this is your first time here, you've never been here before, you need to run into the back wall where the purple marker is with diamond for those coloured impaired. So that you don't accidentally pull the boss and kill us all. Make sure you're right against the wall. I mean, if you're going to hold your tokens for next week, you might not get them when patch drops either way. Like, we'll change what we're doing with tokens to make sure it makes sense. Your friends will abandon you. Well, there's no reason to hold them now, is there? Because you get to swap them. So you need to come against this wall, your mate, Mr. Rogue Man. Good job. I'm, I'm very glad you had the presence of mind to look and stop. Well <laughs> Is that everyone here? Well, let's send the check out again, re log for your add on. Re logging. Yep. I was like, I knew I fucking downloaded it, but I got an F for you did the installation. usual dumb. Righty. Which one of our hunters has a good nature resistance set? Nature protection potion now. Get on cooldown. Oh, just so smart sometimes, Funky. It's impressive. I know, man. I have trouble getting in this room because my, my head's so big. <laughs> oh, yeah, coin did link it earlier. Let's not pay attention to that. No, nope, nope, don't listen to <laughs> Just repeat the joke. I, I can do the something yes. if you want. If that healer stays with me and just heals me a little bit. You also have 9k health. You should be fine. I 
make sure you use a T. I guess you're doing the pull. We'll make sure you get a pre-shield. We are waiting for one more person, two more people to relog. Your friends will abandon you. Have you assigned the melee? Um, not yet, actually. So let me do that now. We don't need to to split group eight. I'd just be putting some of you guys in group seven. So, like, two of you decide to go with group seven instead. The melees assigned for this then is Lake Sharks, E, Brisket, Dalgo, Hippie, Awo Baru. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. You will die. So these are the melee who can go into the center of Kifun Circle. You aren't sticking with your group assigned number for that. You will be just picking a position around the inner eye and staying there until it's time to run around. I'll send an image again of how we're doing the group split. Like, just know that you'll be standing around the Eye of Kifun. You guys are calling out melee slots. Cool, I'll pick melee slot 6, just so it's been communicated. But those are where groups are standing. So, use the inner rings, make sure you're spreading out. Don't chain people. If you haven't been called out, you are not going on the inner ring. You Should be a nice fun time. Die. And we're doing the final check. Righty. Loon one, let me know when you're good. And then we're going to get ready to go. We need to just make sure we aren't getting hit by Dark Glare and dealing with tentacle parties effectively. Yeah, happy. Hello? Yeah, I think you so. I'm just double checking some things, dead. two secs. Ready. Funky, lead the pull. Make sure you look at pay attention to yep. your group number and you start spreading out. Go, go, go. Yep. Speed number two. Speed number three. They're no random. Good luck. The Lenny, I called out this standing position. Move the fuck away. I like took mine. I'm gonna just sit out. Like to yours. You can make him move, it's all good. Make sure you're going maximum melee range for the boss. There's room near the entrance of the room. Let's go there on next door. Run away, little girl! Dark glare now, get out of the way of it, don't get hit by it. You can spread out and touch each other. Make sure we get these eye tentacles down. Range focus the eyes near the beam, so the melee can't go there, right? Get a kick to get a kick. It is going counterclockwise around the room. Make sure you get back to your next position. Start there is ending. Eye tentacles, make sure we get them dead. Lake, why are you stacking them, buddy? Oh, Baron, you too. Lake Shark Sea, go pick a wall and just fucking stand there. You're running around and chaining people left, right, and center, mate. Run away, little girl! Right, we have 
have a dark glare coming. Don't be in front of the eye. Get your tentacles down. Kick stuff. Use it. Okay, in range. The one in the beam, the melee can't touch range. That's your job. Let's go and talk flies around the room. We're going to push it so we get to the north of the room. Spread out behind this line that you see in the north of the room. Just be spread out behind this, don't be touching the walls, don't be on the stairs. Off of the stairs, be behind this line, spread out left and right in the room. And we have a giant claw spawning on the left hand side, need a tank on it. When you get sent into the stomach, kill one of the tentacles, we'll call out when to kill the other one, get it low, get it like 10%, around 2k health. Make it easy to be finished off on short notice. Right, spread out again around the north of this room. We're having a giant eye spawning and tentacle party. Don't go deep in the room yet. You don't want to bait the giant eye spawning it north, um, south in the room. You all want to be in the north because of that. Right, now mages, you can blink into the room to get the tentacle party down. We need a stun on this giant eye. Or interrupts. Kill the giant eye tentacle and off we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> really good on those little eyes, guys. That was super quick. Well done. I got Bob's right to the back so I can get one. First tentacle inside is about to die. Start working on the second one. We have a giant claw spawning and tentacle party. Stay north. Now go south to get rid of the tentacles if need be. Good job. Get the second tentacle low. I'm right. If you can kill the second tentacle, kill the second tentacle. Push it. You have about 10 seconds though. Keep pushing, yes, everyone get on, take a fun, go. Use your cooldowns, use everything you've got. Remember, the entrance of this room is the weak side of the boss for backstab and stuff like that. Shamans, put your totems down for a minute. Make sure Wind Fury is down and in range. Zaramara, put your totem closer to the boss, please. Zaramara, Wind Fury totem. Inside. I'm, j I'm just standing completely inside. I'm not getting it. There we are, finally. And I didn't change anything. <laughs> Weird. Alright, we're gonna have to do this phase all one more time. That's okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, I was completely like inside already. Yeah. Probably cool. some timing bug. Giant claw spawned on left hand side. Everybody attack the giant claw. When you're getting sent inside, get one of these um, tentacles dead ASAP, get the other one low again, and I'll call out when it's safe to kill the other one. We don't want to do it right when something spawns, so basically. I can't see upstairs. Sorry. Fifteen seconds. Let's have a fire to lose. Really quick, can you give me a quick heal? Did a very good job staying on the tentacles. Tentacle party in three. Get ready. You're doing excellent. Same again. On the right side, big claw. Yeah, kill the tentacle inside, just spam your instant abilities. You've got 10 seconds, you can easily do it. Kill, kill the fern. Bro, well, just getting with the animation. <laughs> oh, mate. Get it, boy. Easy kill. Good job, everyone. Thank you all for coming. What did we get? Darkstorm Gauntlet? Nice. Carapace? Love it. Husk, I have Cafern, and Grasp of the Old Gods. Congrats to everyone who's won their loot today. That's not good, though. <laughs> the scene I get start scoring, going it's hard to be dead for most of the fight. That's funny. <laughs> so, what's up? That's how it works. Yep. Today was a good day for healing loot, though. Yeah, there's lots of good races. Um, Zelgo, you fucking pumped, man. <laughs>